Hello. We are Marcus and Sonia. And our book is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. The book Legendborn has a pretty complex magic system that we will break down and explain to you in this video. There are two magic systems in the book, one which is called Rootcraft and the other which has to do with King Arthur and that's called the, the Legendborn Oidle. To start, there is this substance all around in the air called Aver that the Legendborn can solidify to make armor and weapons and heal each other with it. Rootcrafters also use Avil, but they call it Root. They have a much more respectful approach to using Avil, and they ask their dead relatives for permission because the dead have a closer relationship with Avil. They do not steal their magic, which is how Rootcrafters describe Legendborn magic, and so they are not cursed with demons to fight. As we mentioned before, the Legendborn has to do with King Arthur. In the order, each of the 13 knights of the round table have one descendant that is the current scion. The scions have to be between the ages of 16 and 22, and when they age out, another descendant will become the current scion. Each scion also has a squire. Squires do not have to be descendants of the knights of the round table. To become a squire, four steamers become a page and compete to be chosen as a squire. Each Legendborn can sponsor a page, and then the pages compete to become squires. Most pages are children of vassals. Vassals are families that are not Legendborn, but they take an oath to the Order, and the vassals benefit with status and money from the Order's support. The Oidle also has Morlins, which are sorcerers for the Oidle. They are more powerful than most scions and squires due to them being part demon, and they also can remove memories, or mesmer. The most powerful Morlins are taken away as a child and take a King's Mage Oath, which is an oath that ties them to the descendant of King Arthur. The purpose of the Legendborn Order is to fight the Shadowborn, which are the demons we've discussed. They come through gates to Earth, and the Order's job is to fight them and hide them from the Onceborn, or the people that aren't Legendborn. Onceborns can only see shadow points if they have gone full corporal, which means they, their connection is strong enough that they become real physical demons, versus the magical state they are in most of the time when they come to Earth. Now, before we continue, we need to go back and explain how scions get called. Scions have limited power until they have been awakened, which is when their knight ancestor awakens their powers. In the book, scions rank 5 and above, and they're ranked based on the Knights of the Round Table, 1 through 13. These scions 1 through 5 have not been awakened in hundreds of years. In the Oidal, there is this idea of Camlin, which is when the Shadowborn will get so strong that the descendant of Arthur will, be, will get awakened. And there will be a huge battle. This means that when the descendants of Sol Lamarack and Sol K, the fourth and the fifth ring knights get caught on, everyone talks about how Camlan is coming. We know this is a very info-heavy video, but we think the magic system in our book, Legendborn by Tracy Dion, is very cool, and we hope that you enjoyed the video and found the magic system as cool as we did. Bye! Bye!